So I wake up out of my sleep. What else would you wake up out of? And, um, you know, I go and uh, I'm seeing a few things, checking a few things, getting my day started. I happen to go into the YouTube studio app. I'm looking throughout all my channels, all my YouTube channels. I'm checking the numbers. I'm checking the subscribers. I'm checking the view time. I'm checking the revenue. And then I look at uh, the last few videos, what they've been doing, and so on and so forth. And then I go to the comments. And as usual, you know, as a YouTuber, as a content creator, as someone who does digital marketing and video production, which is what this is, you know, you look at the comments and you wake up to new comments every day and a lot of them are moronic individuals who don't know what they're talking about. And then uh, some of them are intelligent, which is rare. And um, one thing about YouTube that they've gotten better with is they have got better with censoring idiots, imbeciles, Mizarks. So I go in the comments and, you know, I just uploaded a, a, a parody of Kevin Nash shoot interview where he's talking about Bret Hart and Sean and Pills and Goldberg. And, you know, I did a video a few days ago about Flair was apparently drunk tweeting about the Miz, what have you. And some idiot leaves a stupid comment, an outrageous comment. And I always say, before you speak, know your history. No, 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 it's, it's the internet. No such thing as knowing your history. No, 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 no. So on the video of Flair that I made where he's making these outrageous claims and giving unfounded praise to The Miz, which is just ridiculous, go check that video out, some moron leaves a comment, a long-ass paragraph, and let, let me make something clear. This channel ain't about you, the listener. No offense, but it's not. What do I mean when I say that? What I mean is stop leaving long-ass paragraphs in the comment section. I will block your ass. You have people in the comments. Oh, my God. You have people in the comments leaving like an essay in, in the comments. Who's going to read this? This is not high school. This is not a final exam. Why are you writing? First of all, doesn't you, YouTube don't have like a limit? They need you know what YouTube needs to do. YouTube needs to make like Twitter where there's a limit. You can only have like 140 characters. Why why are people in the comments writing full essays? I'm not your pen pal. I got I think I got another comment. I'm gonna make a video about this person. Wrote the longest. It, it was like, oh my! It was like it, it was like a textbook. Why are you writing? You think I'm gonna read this long ass comment? It, no one's gonna read this comment. Now this idiot leaves a comment that is. It wasn't as long as some of these other morons, but it was a stupid comment. And this fool on Ric Flair, he says, "Ric Flair is a complete clown." You know, I can agree with that. You know, I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. Analyze this. Hit the like button, man. Share this video, man. Subscribe to this channel because not everybody is like this person. But there are so many morons on on the internet who just, you know, the point of leaving a comment is you have something to say of meaning. No, no. An idiot always wants to be seen and heard. Always. Hold on. This is driving me to drink. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is drove me to drink. I'm just waking up, and this fool got my day twisted already. They need to arrest this clown and put him in the same cage with Puffy. Anyway, he says, Ric Flair is a complete clown. I could agree with that. But then this comment goes downhill. This is nonsense. He says, Ric Flair, his prime was from 1978 to 
Ric Flair's prime was 1978 to 1982. Okay, well, um, what year did he have the matches with Steamboat? I think he still looked in his prime then. Okay, he had classic matches in the 90s, classic material. He's Ric Flair is way more known for after 1982 than 78 to 82. So I I don't I don't even understand that comment. Like Flair's prime was was much longer than that, and I wouldn't even to me seventy eight to eighty two is that's that's ridiculous. To me, Flair's prime is like eighty two to. I, I don't. Flair was great. Like I. I to me, his prime would be like 82 to maybe 91. Maybe even into like the 92 Royal Rumble. That's seen as the greatest Royal Rumble for a reason. And it was him. And that wasn't like a... I don't understand people like this. I don't understand it. This person goes on, they say, after 82, he was largely trash. <laughs> okay, how old is this person speaking? Is this Bruce Mitchell stinking ass? Who is this? You know what? It might be Bret Hart. The person's name is the Ninth Hart. Maybe this is Bret Hart. Maybe Bret Hart. Oh my God. Bret Hart just buried Rick. You know, that's the new title of this video. Bret Hart just left a comment burying Flair. On Rick. Bret Hart used his burner account. Either that or this is Stu Hart from the grave. Let me not say Owen or Helen. If this was about Jerry Lawler, then I could believe this would be Helen from the grave. But so Bret Hart used his burner account to bury Rick. You know what? You know what? This this is brilliant. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I just read the person's name. I will. The, the thumbnail will be this person's name. <laughs> Maybe no, no, not the thumbnail. I gotta, uh, in the video, I will put this. Well, you'll be seeing it at this point. This video is raw, no edit. Bret Hart used his burner account to bury Ric Flair on my channel. But I already blocked him because it was stupidity. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I actually, I like, I like the idea of burying or uh, blocking Bret Hart on his burner account. So Bret Hart is this bitter. Wow, thank you for the content, Bret. So Bret Hart, it's got to be Bret Hart. The, the, the name is the ninth Hart. Was he the ninth son? Who, what's, what's the birth order of the Hart family? Anyway. So Bret Hart on his burner account, he says, Flair is a complete clown. I agree with that. His prime, you stinking hyena. You stinking hyena. Flair, you stinking hyena. Your prime was 78 to 82. <laughs> After that, he was largely trash and was dependent on political mechanisms in order to stay in positions of prominence. Wow. <laughs> So this person saying Ric Flair was useless, garbage, and trash after the year of 1982. So from 83 to <laughs> what year was Flair? What was the last year Flair was really active like that consistently? 96? Because in, in 97, I guess 97? 98, okay, maybe maybe to 98, because 98, I guess like mid-90, uh, spring 98 is when he had like the lawsuit with Bischoff, and, and he, was, he was almost going to go to WWF, so this person saying from 1983 to 1998, Flair was trash, and he depended on political mechanisms in order to stay in prominent positions, went then he says, he went to New York City, which is WWF. He went to WWF and drew nothing. The Jim Hurd era, he and Sting headlining cards could barely sell out high school auditoriums in Who Cares, Carolina, or wherever. <laughs> Brett is funny as hell, man. Boy, I tell you. You stinking hyena. <laughs> then he says, also, Flair is absolutely not in the top 10. Stop it. Bret Hart has said that. 
Bret Hart has gone on a rant for, for, for decades. I don't, I don't see why anyone says Flair's a great wrestler. He's not a great wrestler. He's a hyena. <laughs> do, do hyenas have blonde hair? <laughs> That's not, I'm pretty sure Flair's natural hair ain't blonde. He's been dying it for 50 years. But this got, this got to be Bret Hart. Then he says, Mike the Miz is most known for being a real world and subsequent challenge contestant. You know, Bret Hart, didn't he get, didn't he uh, win the U.S. title from Miz in 2010? So, great! This is bitter Bret Hart! Wow, so, so the bitterness of Bret Hart never ends. Bret Hart finds my channel, which means he has some sort of intelligence, and he uses, he uses his burner account to bury... Ric Flair and The Miz. Wow, I got to eat off this carcass. Oh, I'm about to eat off him. <laughs> I might have to unblock him now. I didn't realize that was Brad. I just thought it was a regular Mark. But no, it's it's a Canadian famous Mark named Bret Hart. As Kevin Nash would say, you know, I like Brett. You know, Brett's a great guy. You know, Brett's a cool cat. You know, I never had a problem with Goldberg. Anyway, check out, check out on this channel the exclusive. I did an exclusive interview if you missed it. On this channel, I did an exclusive interview with Kevin Nash. Don't ask me how I got it. But I just uploaded it. An exclusive inter interview with uh, Kevin Nash. He talks about Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, and Breaking Goldberg's streak. It's tremendous. Check that shoot video out. Um, Bret Hart is still bitter. He goes on my page and rants and rambles like a maniac. Hit the like button. Share this video. Subscribe to this channel. Um... A lot more content is on the way. And um, that is it. Uh, donate to the Cash App. Support the channel. If you have a video request, people always leave in comments. Why don't you talk about this? Why don't you donate to the channel? I, I don't work for free. I'm not Puerto Rican. I'm up out of here.